All right, so today we're going to be doing a Call of Duty tier list. I'm going to be covering every COD from 4 on up until the most recent release, which is Black Ops Cold War. My opinions are subject to change, so maybe in the future I will do like a revised list of uh, if my opinions do end up changing in the future. I'm not going to be covering COD 1, 2, and 3 because I really came into the COD franchise at COD 4 slash World at War there. I don't have really super vivid memories of COD 1, 2, and 3. While I did play them, uh, I can't accurately say if they were great or not. So we're going to be doing from 4 up. We're going to be judging it on a lot of different factors, but for the most part, it's going to be like gameplay, multiplayer, and a bunch of other different things. So I'm just using the template that this person had. So S being the best, perfect, great, good, meh, and trash. Like I said, starting off with COD 4. So COD 4 was, again, like one of the first Call of Duties I, I remember playing. I don't remember if I played it that launch, but I do remember sinking a ton of time into it. While I wasn't a very good player, because it came out when I don't even think I was a teenager yet, I remember having great times playing Modern Warfare, whether it be split screen with my brother or even online when we all shared an Xbox account. The campaign was really good, the multiplayer was a ton of fun, R700, my favorite sniper in, every call, in any Call of Duty game. Uh, I'm going to say Modern Warfare 1's great. Not perfect, it has its flaws, there is issues with it, but uh, I still think it's a phenomenal game. I, I love Modern Warfare. If I were to put Modern Warfare Remastered, I'd probably just put it in good, because while the game looks great, it plays virtually the same. The added uh, supply drops and, and monetization practices really turned me off there. Next up we have World at War. So with World at War, it falls into the same thing in terms of Modern Warfare 1, where there was issues with the game in terms of perk variety or some of the gameplay elements there. I, I do think World at War is a great COD. It is one of my favorite CODs. Uh, it has its issues, and maybe this is nostalgia blinding me, but I'm going to put it in S tier. Because World at War had a great campaign. Multiplayer was a ton of fun. I do enjoy the World War II setting. And I just thought, zom and Zombies was amazing. This was the first time we had Zombies. Loading into Nocturne and Toten for the first time, was it was terrifying. Especially for me, not even being a teenager yet when the game came out. So I, I'm going to personally say World at War is an S-tier game. It is one of my favorite Call of Duties. Uh, is it dated? Yes, of course. There is, of course, issues with it. But at the time of playing it, I, I don't remember like hating it. Um, again, I was a kid, wasn't very good at the game. But World at War, phenomenal game. Next up, we're going to have MW2. This is going to be a little bit controversial because everyone is blinded by nostalgia, in my opinion, with this game. I don't think it's trash, but I also don't think it's perfect. I don't think it's meh. And it's better than good, so it's great. MW2 is a great game. A lot of flaws, though. Uh, everyone talks about, oh, MW2 Remastered. We want multiplayer remastered. Do you have any idea how many broken things are in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer? Danger Close, One Man Army, the Noob Tubes. I mean, there there was so many abusable things. A lot of the guns were overpowered, but, I mean, when everything's overpowered, everything's viable. I think MW2 is a great game. However, if I, th I think if it were to be remastered multiplayer-wise, uh, there would be a lot of issues. And, of course, this is the game where the nuke came in. I... I literally only have like two three nukes legitly i love mw2 it is a great game though there is flaws campaign was amazing spec ops is fun for i don't know playing it to try to get the stars but it's not really something i go back to minus a couple missions like the stealth missions or the snowmobile one i think mw2 is a great game i don't think it's perfect and i know i kind of use the justification of there's a lot of broken things and there's some broken things in, in world at war as well but uh again this is all opinions so you know you're allowed to disagree with me Next up, we have Black Ops 1. This game is really where I, I came into the forefront of the, the Call of Duty franchise. This is when I really started playing. I think there was a beta. If there was, I definitely played it. I recall playing Black Ops a lot. The original introduction of COD points before it became real money. The customization was great because you could just unlock those things. I liked the uh, the kill streaks. I liked pretty much everything about Black Ops 1. Campaign was great. Zombies had a kick-ass season, like there was not a missable map there. Even 5, no matter how hard it is, is a great map. I think Zombies kicks ass in that game. Multiplayer, ton of fun, ton of different maps. Uh, I'm not really going to go too deep into the, the monetization practices. Season passes were the uh, the go-to back then, and I don't hate season passes. I do prefer the, the free content we get. I'm going to say Black Ops 1 is a perfect game. Um, 
MW3. I think what MW3 did was take everything great and lackluster about MW2, and I think they improved upon it. Um, MW3 has so many great things about it. The nuke isn't a kill streak; it's the Moab strike, um, and it's just you know once you get on a 25 kill streak without getting kills with other streaks, that's when you get the Moab. I don't think it's game ending. But uh, I, I really like what they did with MW3. Again, campaign really good. Good ending to the trilogy. Again, Spec Ops kind of mm, I hit or miss. Like, I didn't really care for it. The survival mode was a ton of fun. I just remember, like, having a ton of fun playing Infection and MW3. We're going to put that in S tier. I'd say that's a pretty damn perfect game. Next up, we got Black Ops 2, the epitome of Call of Duty. Black Ops 2 is what you think of when you think of Call of Duty, in most cases, that or MW2. Campaign, pretty damn good. I don't remember every single beat in point about it. There was the branching storyline, there's a bunch of different ways to get different things, the zombies, pretty missed in the first two maps, Die Rise and Transit. Die Rise and Transit, not a fan of them, but they definitely really redeemed themselves in the, in the latter half of the, the game's life cycle. Multiplayer maps, ton of fun. Uh, diamond camo, uh, uh, pretty much everything Black Ops 2 did was really good. Uh, it's had its, its issues, but again, I was playing a ton of this game. I'll put it perfect. It has issues, but I'd say it's definitely an S tier. So when I say when it's a perfect tier, I don't mean the game has no flaws. I'm just saying it's probably one of the. It's in the upper echelon of games. And an A tier does not mean it's a bad game by any means. Neither does B tier. A tier means it's got flaws. I have issues with it the ones above it i prefer over it so uh don't take that as any disrespect for cod 4 or mw2 next up we have ghost now this is where i start to get controversial ghost is pretty much universally hated and it definitely has its issues uh i mean it's got a pretty bland color palette the campaign not a lot of people remember i do remember enjoying it i remember I just remember liking Ghosts. I put a lot of time into this game. I actually went to the midnight release for it. I was, you know, the Eminem song, Survival, that was uh, in the trailer and everything. I really liked Ghosts, and I actually really liked Extinction as well. So while I don't think it's a perfect game, I don't think it's as bad as everyone remembers. I'm going to say it's B tier. It's a good game. I still, like, I will go back and play Ghosts every once in a while. I still think it's a fun game. Um, it, it has its issues, but I liked Ghosts. Next up, we have Advanced Warfare, which uh, is sort of the advanced movement in Call of Duty, which at the time, I was kind of on board for. I wasn't like, oh, hell yeah, you know, we got jetpacks, uh, and I sank a lot of time into Advanced Warfare. I played a ton of it. I had spent money on supply drops. I am Master Prestige, so that's like 30 prestiges. Very easy to rank up in the game. Exo Zombies, while kind of forgettable, was fun at the time. The campaign wasn't bad. Uh, say what you will about Kevin Spacey. He's an awful person, but he's a great actor. Like, you just can't deny that. Um, I'm going to say it's a meh game. Because I, I did sink many many of hours into it, many days into it. Uh, but I, I don't look back too fondly on it. Uh, the variants were very annoying. I was playing a lot of competitive in Advanced Warfare and Ghosts, so that's kind of why I, I like those games. Um, I will play Advanced Warfare but I, I definitely would not want another advanced movement COD. It's just It just doesn't feel right for the franchise. And I get it that they wanted to try something else, but eh. Next up, we got Black Ops 3. Again, continuing the trend of advanced movement in Call of Duty. Again, I'm Master Prestige in this game. Not level 1,000, but I do have Dark Matter. I, I beat most of the um, Easter eggs in Zombies. The campaign is absolutely god-awful. Uh, train go boom, uh, imagine yourself in a frozen forest. The campaign was awful. I played it on realism as well recently with friends, and I just, I don't remember a single goddamn thing about it. It was an awful campaign. Zombies was very good. Probably the best experience of zombies we have, minus Gobblegums, because they're annoying, because it's in-game purchases. But I think Black Ops Free, Free? Black Ops 3 is going to be good for me. Because campaign was awful. Multiplayer, while I stuck a lot of time into it, I don't like advanced movement. Specialist, uh, they could be there. They don't have to be there. Specialists don't really matter to me either way. I think, uh, I don't know. It's either going to be great or good, specifically for, like, multiplayer and zombies alone. Because if you're going based off of zombies, I, I would say Black Ops 3 is, like, a perfect game because the zombie season was great. Uh, I have different opinions on different maps, but I think the zombie season was great. 
I had a lot of fun playing the multiplayer. Uh, I'm going to say it's a good game. I don't think it's great because it has its issues. It's advanced movement, not a fan, regardless. Everyone's favorite Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. Where is this going to go? That's a perfect game right there. That's, I'm, I'm kidding. It's not a perfect game. Infinite Warfare is also divisive uh, because they bundled Modern Warfare Remastered with it, which I was a sheep and bought because I really wanted Modern Warfare Remastered. I didn't care about Infinite Warfare. The zombie season was pretty good. I liked Zombies in Spaceland, Attack of the Radioactive Thing, or even the Redwoods, the other two maps I really don't care for. I thought Zombies was good. It was different and unique, though I do like how we had breaks from Zombies every couple years because then you don't get burnt out on it. The campaign was surprisingly really good in Infinite Warfare. Um, I, I, I don't, like, I, I know a lot of people don't play COD campaigns. When I buy a COD game, I do want to play the campaign. So I'm going to say... While I do have great things to say about this game, I'm going to go with Trash. We still had supply drop weapons. The campaign, while I did enjoy it, campaigns are really like a you play once sort of thing, maybe a couple times to get achievements. It just, I could have fun playing Infinite Warfare for maybe like a half hour to an hour a week. If I played multiplayer more than that, I just kind of got burnt out. I just didn't have a ton of fun. It was not a great game at all. And then we go back to basics with COD World War II. Another game that people love or hate. It's it's weird because I really enjoy the World War II setting as per World at War being up there at my like my S tier. So I, I enjoy World War II setting. The campaign was okay. I mean, we focused heavily on the Americans. I think that's all the campaign was, was you playing as Americans. Though there was other things. The D-Day mission, the first mission, phenomenal. Like, it really brings you into that kind of like Saving Private Ryan, where like that first scene, it's like, holy shit, this is war. This is what it was like. But it was, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hate the game, but I didn't love it either. I'm going to put it in meh. Because I don't dislike the game. I will, I, I'll go back and play it. I don't hate multiplayer. I, I just, I don't know. I don't hate the game, but I also wasn't like, holy shit, I have to play this every day. Though it's COD, and I mostly play COD like every day, because I'm, a, again, a sheep. I think Zombies was good for the first map, then it kind of just fell off. Like, they have a couple good maps in Zombies, but I really didn't need World War II Zombies. Uh, but we're getting into the territory of uh, they got to release a new Zombies every year, because it prints money. So World War II, not a bad Call of Duty game, but I just don't have too much to say about it. It's neither phenomenal, but it's also not trash. So I'm going to put it in meh, because while I did play it a bunch, it wasn't a super memorable game for me. Which I, w I wish I could say was different, because I enjoy World War II games. Black Ops 4, because we have to put Black Ops on literally everything, though Black Ops 4 has almost literally nothing to do with the Black Ops franchise, aside from Blackout. Blackout was a ton of fun. I like Warzone better in terms of how the game flows and mechanics wise. I don't know. I think Warzone just feels better though. Blackout was a ton of fun campaign didn't exist multiplayer. Okay. Boots on the ground, but felt very uninspired. I was not a fan of it. Um, while I did play it a decent amount, it took me about six months to actually buy black ops four because I did not care for it. Uh, zombies, uninspired i mean you had the chaos story which for the first couple maps was good but they ended the chaos story and it went back to the ether story every single ether map is a remake reimagining in some sort of way and i'm just like not a fan um though again i, I did most of the easter eggs in black ops 4 zombies i just don't care for black ops 4 i'm gonna say it's a trash game i don't think it was a great game at all uh, did I have some fun playing it? Sure. I also had fun playing Infinite Warfare, but I'd argue I had a better time playing World War II and Advanced Warfare. I did not like Black Ops 4, like, one bit. And now we're coming into the reboot, because now we need to reboot everything, because uh, the Modern Warfare title also prints money, just like the Black Ops title. So we're going to redo it, bring back Captain Price, bring back a lot of the fan-favorite weapons, uh, get rid of the season pass system. Just make it a battle pass system. All maps are free. That's what I like about the game. I think the gameplay in Modern Warfare is fucking amazing. Slow paced. Yes. I, I agree with you. It could do with a little speed boost. The footsteps are a little bit loud. But I have not had this much fun playing a Call of Duty game 
in quite some time. Modern Warfare I have sunk days into. The campaign, phenomenal. Spec Ops, really couldn't care less about. Uh, survival, I think I have it now because I'm on Xbox and I didn't have it for a year. Regardless, don't care for it. But multiplayer and campaign alone, perfect game. Has its issues. Not diving into skill-based matchmaking here. Topic for another day. Look at it in the lens of how it plays as a game. I think Modern Warfare is a great game. One of my favorite Call of Duties in recent times. Like, I, I cannot... I can't say better... I can't say enough good things about Modern Warfare. I have issues with it. Sure, everyone does. No game up in the S tier is 100% perfect. They all have flaws. But I, I honestly think Modern Warfare is one of the best Call of Duties we've gotten in recent times. Especially with the new engine. Remember when we rebooted Modern Warfare? Well, now we're also kind of rebooting Black Ops, except this is a sequel to Black Ops 1, so canonically it takes place in between 1 and 2, but we had enough time away from the Black Ops franchise that it felt new enough. Black Ops Cold War. I play it every once in a while. I think it's only redeeming quality of zombies. The campaign was good. I enjoyed the campaign. Pretty short. Again, I won't go and play it again. Like, I would actually go back and play Modern Warfare's campaign, and I played it like 3-4 times because I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 2019's campaign. Cold War's campaign, it was fine. I didn't dislike it. Uh, I didn't really care either. Multiplayer, while it feels like COD, and I'm not bad at it, I just don't have fun playing it. If I play Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, it is literally to get camos, and I can't even bring myself to grind for Dark Matter in this game. I'm just not a fan of Cold War. I'll put it in meh. Campaign was fine. I liked the campaign. Multiplayer is... It's not awful multiplayer. I don't know what it is. There is something about Cold War's multiplayer that I just don't enjoy. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't really know. If I'm playing Cold War, again, if I'm not getting camos for weapons, I'm literally playing zombies. Zombies is great in the game. I love the things they've added to the zombies mode. I'll give I'll give Cold War a C because I, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I also don't really like it. Like, I'm, I'm tempted to say it's trash, but there is redeeming qualities about it. And I don't hate it as much as I do, like, Infinite Warfare Black Ops 4. So we could say, like, Cold War could ta teeter between C and F, but I'll put it in meh. I don't really like it, but I also don't completely hate it. I'll go play it, I can have fun with it, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, COD Mobile, F. I played it for, like, a couple hours. I played it via mobile, and then I also played it, like, attaching my Xbox controller to the mobile. It's a fine game. I mean, it's, it's Call of Duty on the phone, so it plays fine, but I just couldn't really get into it. Uh, I wasn't bad at it either. I just, yeah, I didn't really like it. I mean, that's, that's going to be my tier list for right here. So, relatively even spread. Uh, obviously, I, I have a pretty varied opinions across the board. So, S tier, like I said, World at War, Black Ops, MW3, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare, the 2019 reboot. I think those are fair. I think a lot of people can agree that that's a pretty fair S rank. Uh, some people may say World at War would be A or B. Uh, again, World at War is one of my favorite games, so that's why it's up there for me. That may be nostalgia, but whatever. A tier, we got Call of Duty 4, the original Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare 2. Both great games. I do think they have their issues. Like I said, MW3 took what MW2 did wrong, improved upon it, and I think MW2 is still a great game. I had a ton of fun with both of those CODs. I just think those other ones are a little bit better on top of it. Below that, you got COD Ghost and Black Ops 3. Ghost, I think, was pretty good all around. I don't really have too much to say that's super negative about Ghost. There's a couple critiques here and there. Black Ops 3, I don't really like the advanced movement. Uh, campaign was awful, and Zombies was pretty good. It Pretty much the best experience of Zombies we've had to date. Unless we get Zombie Chronicles 2, I think if you're going to come into Zombies, Black Ops 3 would be your choice. That's where you should go. In C tier, Advanced Warfare, COD World War 2, Black Ops Cold War. Black Ops Cold War, I just don't have fun playing. Like, I just don't have the motivation to do it. I don't hate the game outright, but I just don't have fun with it. Cod World War II, while I played it, I it's not super memorable. Uh, I liked the headquarters option. I did a lot of 1v1s. I have like a 70-something percent win rate in the headquarters 1v1. I played a lot of uh, Cod World War II. I enjoyed my experience, but again, it, it's not a super memorable game. Hope and Vanguard changes that. Advanced Warfare, again, I put a ton of time into it, though there's so many issues with the game that I'm just not a fan of, don't like the advanced movement. 
So it's, it's a mad game. I played it. Played it a ton. Had a ton of fun playing it. But looking back, and even during playing it, I didn't like variants. I didn't like the advanced movement. Bunch of different things in the game. Was not a fan of. Trash tier, we got Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 4, and COD Mobile. Infinite Warfare, pretty justified. I'd say most people didn't like it, as seen by the dislike ratio on the initial announced trailer. Uh, the game is fun in very, very short bursts, but I, I cannot see myself grinding that game. Black Ops 4, trash, all around. Nothing great about it. Uh, again, no campaign. Zombies started off decent. Like, it wasn't awful, but it just felt uninspired to me. Multiplayer just I did not do it for me at all. And COD Mobile's COD Mobile, and that that's pretty much it. So like I said, this is from COD4 to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm hoping Vanguard may change some of my opinions. These opinions are subject to change here. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree with the tier list? What would you move up or down? Let's keep it really civil in the comments here. Uh, don't come after me for my opinions. You can critique it. You can give me constructive criticism. But don't come out here and say, uh, I'm an absolute moron because I put this game higher or lower than another. We're all entitled to our own opinions. Uh, I'll respect yours if you respect mine. So let's have some discussion in the comments down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!